Uh, so in this video, we're going to go step by step through performing a proof by induction. Now, the last time we spoke, uh, we said what is proof by induction, and we drew dominoes, and we talked about this formula here, and proving that by if this is true, if k is true, if we assume k is true, and then we prove that k plus 1 is true, we can go right to the very start of the dominoes, show that it's true for 1, and then that'll knock over all of our dominoes. So that's our basic idea. If you need to go back, go back and watch that again. But here's our example. We're going to prove by induction that the sum of all r from 1 to n is equal to n over 2 n plus 1. Now if that looks familiar, it's because we talked about it here. So basically we're just going to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus whatever is equal to n on 2 bracket n plus 1. So our first step here is going to be called the induction step. So proofs are very formal by their nature. We're trying to prove something beyond a shadow of a doubt. So step one is just to state the proposition. So our proposition we can call proposition n. And the proposition is that the sum of all numbers from 1 to n equals n over 2 n plus 1. All right, so there's our statement of the, uh, the proposition. Now from here, we're going to assume that it's true for n equals k, just some random domino from our, from our previous thing. So we're going to say, uh, so we're going to say uh, it's true for k that from 1 to k, if we add all the natural numbers, we get k over 2k plus 1. Now that we've done that, we need to show it's true for k plus 1. And this is the, this is the trick. This is the, this is the trick to it. So on the left-hand side, do, let's sort of... I'm going to move myself out of the way here. On the left-hand side of my equation... I'm going to use this formula, n over 2, n plus 1, or k over 2, k plus 1. k over 2, k plus 1. Now, k over 2, k plus 1 gives me all of the numbers added up to k. Now, if I want to do k plus 1, I need to add on to the end k plus 1. So, 1, 2, 3, let's say k was 7. I'm doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. I'm doing that in my formula. And then I'm saying, if I know 7, I can just add k. And that's why I'm adding k plus 1. Yeah, I'm just adding the, in this case, the eighth term. But it's the kth term. All right, so that's what I do on my left-hand side. Now, on my right-hand side, I don't do it that way. Instead, I say, okay... If this formula is true for k, it's true for k plus 1 as well. At least that's what I'm trying to prove. So if it's true for k plus 1, I can put k plus 1 in there directly. I can say k plus 1 over 2. You can see instead of putting k in, I'm saying, no, 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 I don't want to know k. I want to know k plus 1. So I'm going to use the k plus 1 on 2 directly, and then I'm going to replace the letter k here with k plus 1. And then there's a plus 1 on the end there. All right, that's, that's proof by induction. So I'm saying left-hand side, I'm going to use the formula and then add the next term. Right-hand side is I'm going to use the formula directly with the next term. Now, all you need to do is make the left-hand side look like the right-hand side, and we're good to go. Now, before we go on, it's important to note that you can't sort of move things from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. You're not trying to solve an equation. You're not trying to rearrange an equation. So this equal sign is like a barrier, and you're trying to prove that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. In fact, we should put an equal sign with a question mark here above it. That's a real mathematical sign. We're trying to say, does the left-hand side equal the right-hand side? We need to make one of them look like the other one. All right, so there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I might just expand both sides and see what happens here. So distributive law, I'll end up with k squared on 2 uh, plus k on 2 plus k plus 
one. Uh, and on this side, um, what's that look like? It looks like k plus one. Uh, I can write that as k over two plus one half. That's the same thing. I'm just uh, distributing that fraction um, times k plus two. All right, so that's this fraction times that fraction. Now, this is already kind of expanded, but I can make it just a little simpler. 3k on 2, that's adding those two terms here, plus 1. And if I expand this using the FOIL method, I'll end up with k squared on 2 plus 2k on 2 plus... Um, k on 2 plus 1. I think you can see where this is going. k squared on 2 plus 3k on 2 plus 1 equals k squared on 2 plus 3k on 2 plus 1. All right, so our question mark disappears because the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, and you can just finish that off just underneath just writing left-hand side equals right-hand side. There's just one last step here. Remember that I assumed it was true for n equals k. I didn't prove that it was true for n equals k. I'm just guessing or hoping that it's true for n equals k. And now I've shown that if it's true for n equals k, then it's true for k plus 1. So now I need to do another step. That was all sort of step 1, the induction step. The last step here is called the base step. And if we go back to our little row of dominoes, I proved, I assumed that it was true for k. I proved that if it, if it is true for k, then it's probably true for k, or it is true for k plus 1. Now I need to knock over my first domino. So to knock over my first domino, base step um, show um, that the proposition Pn is true for P1. Okay, so this step looks really, really trivial, but basically we're putting P1 into our formula. Equals 1 on 2, bracket 1 plus 1. So the sum of the first term, half times 2, is 1. It's true for the first. I know that looks really, really silly, but we've got to prove it's true for the first one. If it's true for the first one, which we can now call K, then it's true for k plus 1, the second one. And if it's true for the second one, it's true for the third one. Brrrr, dominoes. All right, that is how to perform proof by induction.